Three, two, one. Hey, internet friend, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show, and I've got a new friend online, and I just met her, chatted a little bit. Her name is Anna, and the last name is Mintz, right? Anna Leah Mintz. Yeah, I have a sister-in-law who's got the first and same last name as me, so we're going to stick the Leah in there so that (laughs) I'm a little different than she is. She's a blonde, I'm a brunette, so we are already different physically looking, but um, I'm just going to stick the Leah in there. So Anna Leah Mintz, hello, and thank you for having me. Anna Leah, perfect. (laughs) <laughs> is, it, is it L-E-A-H? Like That's that? right. Yeah. L-E-A-H. Right. You got it. Oh, wonderful. Where are you uh, residing? Where are you? Where are we we actually, I used to live in Canada, but we won a visa lotto and moved to the United States. And it's very rare because 2 million people about 20 years ago signed up for the visa lotto. And my husband and I put our name in. You pay $100 to enter. I entered. We won. And off we went. They give you four months to get all your paperwork together and get down here. So I had to prove I had work, no HIV, all the above. And we were legit. And here we came. And I moved to San Diego now. And there's like, as you can see, if you can see the weather in the back. Oh, man. I mean, just yesterday for the first time or two days ago, we had hail. And it was like unbelievable. Hail and rain in San Diego. Like, when is that ever going to happen again? So it's I've very, got a friend that lives in Temecula and he has a store in Borrego Springs. So I get down there once in a while. It's beautiful. Oh. We'll come in person and we'll host you. I love it here. I love hosting guests. And unfortunately with COVID, it's not happening that much. So even with my work that I do, and I'll tell you about that, um, I, it's all remote now. I mean, luckily I'm able to do remote work. I don't have like a restaurant or something like that where so many people are losing their well, money. It's and been pretty food. interesting because I was in the event industry and uh, that's gone, you know, events, hospitality, travel, tourism. It's kind of like, Burr. and oh, uh, people have got innovative and they just created these virtual online events and they're doing remote things and yeah just keep it on keep it on until the wind blows the stuff away and then we will get again. <laughs> we're waiting for that blow yeah but right now you know i i adjusted and my kids adjusted the cool thing with my kids is that they do online schooling and believe it or not they love it i got two kids that are just loving it they're teenagers and they don't have to get up early in the morning they could sit in their pajamas the teacher won't know the difference what they're wearing they just have to hand in their work online and they're happy campers. So, and they're and disciplined enough to do the work. <laughs> they yeah. are disciplined. Actually, I give them credit on that. They make their own time so long as they commit to it. So I'm cool with that. And I don't have to carpool and I don't have to rush out the door and I don't have to time my schedule to come back to pick them up. And oh, it, it's a blessing. Honestly, if people learn to see the bright side of things, they'll they exactly. will find something. They really I will. I'm, I'm one that's all about gratitude and mindful living, like my, like live in the moment and see any good thing. And it's very, sometimes very concealed, but if you peel off the sand and you'll see it, you'll find a beautiful little diamond there. You know? I totally agree. I tell people sometimes you stub your toe on the, 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 the chair leg or something and it hurts. We'll laugh about it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> It you hurts. could do a new dance. By that, you could do a new dance, right? Do a little chair, chair leg bump dance. Yes. My <laughs> toe hurts. <laughs> you can do that. I can find a dance. Absolutely. Yeah, that's kind of like the Abraham Hicks type stuff. You know, the law of attraction, being in the right vortex. You know, you get to yes. choose. You know, where's that line? You know, you want to exactly. be sad and be a victim, or you want to be a victor. You get to choose. I love that. I love that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well, I live my whole life that way. I am very much into feeling my my good spirits come to me all my angels speak to me they tell me what to do what what my mission is so i'm one who actually lives very much out of the box if someone tells me everybody's wearing red why are you wearing blue i said because everybody is wearing red <laughs> that's why i'm wearing blue so long as it's legal you know we're like similar <laughs> we're similar in that way i think there is no box <laughs> right there is no box and so i'll tell you a cute story if you want to hear it um sure. I have been wanting to be a host for a talk show for a long, long time. I, I, in Canada, when I was learning drama and education, I got an A plus when they had to do hosting a, a, a stage. And the teacher gave me an A plus. And from that day on, I thought, you know what? Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do because I love to teach. I came down here, I was a teacher and then I became a principal. And then I started getting into the health world. And I wanted more than anything, I started doing mini workshops and people kept saying, you know what? You really need to speak in front of a bigger crowd. You have so much to talk about and so much great information. And I thought, but how? You know, like, where am I going to go? I don't market myself very well. So anyway, I got involved with a lady in Hollywood who wanted to make me a big 
host in a show, but she was going to tell me what to say. She was going to give me the name. She was going to tell me what to wear. She was going to charge me a good arm and a leg. And the, she made such a big to do out of this. I thought, really? So five years later, I'm still got this buzz in my head going, I want to be a host in a show. So I call around over here and my angel said, you know what, Anna, you're racking your brain for nothing. Get out of bed, get up and go call a venue. Get yourself a venue. Then you're going to go on Nextdoor app and you're going to get yourself some co-hosts. When you're done with that, you're going to call the college and get some videographers who are students and need to do videography for a placement. <laughs> when you're done with that, you're going to call a DJ and get him to liven up the show. Sure enough, I did all five of the above and I started the first live health talk show here in San Diego. Talk about coming out of the box. Now I needed a little bit of publicity. So what do I do? I called KUSI local news. I said, hey, you guys don't seem to have a live health show, but I do. <laughs> and they're like, oh, really? Tell me about it. So I did. I told them everybody's getting sick and there's no one talking about health. Meanwhile, I've got a, so many clients from all over the world reaching out to me and they want me to speak. So how about putting me on the news and I'll let people know it exists. Oh my God. It took them like that quick. And they said, what time do you want to come? So I did my first news. Then they liked it enough to do a second and a third. So I was on three times for three different shows that we were advertising and they promoted me on each one of them and advertised it. And it was really fun. Then I went to the high school and I got myself some cheerleaders. And if you guys want, and, and dancers, and you want to hear an even better story, do you know the song, um, Ooh, Heaven is a Place on Earth that Belinda Carlisle sings? Well, one day I was on a plane going to Canada to visit my family, and I thought, I love that song. That song has got to be my theme song, but I'm going to change the words. Then I thought, okay, so I, I rewrote all the words in the song, made it all related to health, and I get off the plane with the biggest, fattest smile ever, and the pilot says, have a great day. I said, don't oh, believe me, I'm going to have the best day ever. I just made a hit song in your plane. And so anyway, he took my name and number down. Now here's the thing. I needed permission from Rick Knowles to get to change the words. You don't just go and change the words of a song. Right. So I think, I, believe it or not, I called an entertainment lawyer. They said, well, I don't know how you're gonna pull this one off, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you his email. I go, you think he's gonna respond to me? He writes songs for Beyonce. I'm a little nothing to him. She said, Anna, you have nothing right now. What do you have to lose? I said, all right, so I did. I wrote, and you know what, within a week, he emailed me back and he doesn't have much time to write. You could tell because he doesn't dot his eyes or cross his teeth or anything. He said, noble cause, you have my permission. Good luck. I framed that thing. <laughs> it's oh, like, so cool. I got permission for the song and um, it is now my theme song for the show. You will love it. I think you should go listen to it. What, it's what, me singing it. Not how, that how long how long a window was this that this all manifested? How long did it take for you to pull us all together from the beginning? Oh, with it, well, I wrote the song. I had to have it professionally recorded in a no, studio. No, from so the concept, when you had the idea that you wanted to do a talk show, and then all of a sudden you pulled all this together oh, and the publicity stunt and all that. About a year and a half, because I had That's to fast. soak it in. Yeah, about a year and a half. Well, put it this way. During the five years that I was waiting from that time that they were going to take my money and do it in Hollywood and instead of here, I was studying. I spent that quality time. I didn't waste a minute. And I kept gathering health information from workshops, summits, webinars, anything that I can grab to learn and make this a good show. So I am like loaded with information on every Are you every still topic. doing the show? Oh, yeah. We have another one coming up on two Sundays from now. Your, your company name, it says here, it's Healthy Haven. Is that the name of the show or is that just Yeah, Healthy Haven. Yep, that's the name of my show. That's, that's my show, Healthy name of the Haven show. Live. Yeah, That's thank cool. you. Well, I think you should look it up on my website and I'm then you can see all to. our past five shows. <laughs> Hope you froze up a little bit. You got to let that internet. I <laughs> had a very needed topic. Uh, the first one is the emotion code, which is what I do to heal people. You, you froze up a little Ooh. bit there. Is it back? Me? Yep, you're back now. Yes. Okay. It, was, it oh, looked cool. good, okay. though. You had a dramatic yes, pose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what you see, so I'll take your word on it, but thank you. Uh, wasn't it wasn't planned, but thank you. Um, so I forget where I left off then. What where did I was saying that I have We're you can go check out my code. five shows so far. The emotion code. Yes, the emotion code. That is so powerful. That is like life changing, life changing. Um it's remote, it's quick, it's non-invasive, and it's permanent. Those are the three big factors of that. And what did I do? It, it, look at it this way: everyone has a subconscious. Look at it another way. Everyone has a computer that has a hard drive and the hard drive stores everything in your computer. Your subconscious stores everything in your mind. 
in your body. It knows how you felt literally in your mother's womb. And I had a lady, my favorite story, um, she was, she came to me and her job is to travel around the world and she's paranoid of planes. And she said, I don't know what to do. I don't want to quit my job. I said, well, let's figure out what the root is. That's what I love about this job. It's, it's, it's the root. So when I started to speak to her, we find out, get this, she was adopted. Her mother was picking her up from Russia, driving her on a plane or taking her on a plane while she's still in her mom's womb to the United States. Picked up all her mom's cell membranes, everything that her mother felt, fear, anxiety, depression, grief, all the things that a mom would feel when they're about to give up their kid for adoption, her daughter picked it all up. But get this, the condition stimulus was she was on the plane. That is why she's afraid of flying because her mom was in fear mode on the plane and she is picking it up. When we removed all that, guess what? She is flying around the world as happy as can be, not right. just for work, but for leisure too. <laughs> so well, that's just one of many stories. I also go into negative past lives. I find a lot of people, a lot of kids. I, I was working on this one lady's kid. She lives in England. She's got two kids that are OCD. They're called Indigo Child. Do you know what an Indigo Child is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indigo Child, have you heard of that? They're very old souls, but they pick up a lot from negative past lives. They're the souls that like, I, I, this girl has so, like baggage from 600 years ago. Every single time I pick up something, terror from 600, another fear mode, 600, depression from 600 years ago. And I keep removing it in layers, visualize an onion, and I'm peeling off those layers one by one. Each layer is a negative emotion that's been stored over a lifetime. Could right. be from a negative life, could be from your mother's womb, could be from a present life. So well, a lot I, of people don't, they, they can't, they have a hard time grasping just the single individual life rather than going into, you know, deeper past life kind of stuff. Cause some people go, ah, that's kind of weird. But the, the, the basic stuff, the, so like you're talking about the subconscious, people don't realize what actually happened when they were like conceived to 10 years old or whatever, because it's the subconscious. They, like, mm -hmm. I, I've experienced some of that stuff. Um, I did some breath work with a friend of mine here. And when I was a kid, my parents liked to go out and drink and stuff. And when they would leave me, they would reward me when they came home with a nut goody candy bar. Oh, that was my treat. That's your so treat. For you. Goodbye. I was going through some stuff and I went through this breath work thing and I get up from the breath work thing and I was craving chocolate so bad and <laughs> found out that's what it was, was there was that abandonment that I was dealing with. And that's why that chocolate urge came up so bad. And that's what, what a beautiful connection you made. And you didn't even have to take the course. I had to take months of the studying to, to figure out what you just well, said. This was a different, different, uh, you know, breath work session okay. for it. But a lot of people don't really understand it. And they will kind of throw it away thinking, oh, that's just that weird woo woo stuff. But you got to realize that you, you are feeling things, hearing things and sensing things when you're in the womb. And you're, you're experiencing that stuff and it's, you, you develop a, exactly. a, a belief to it. Right. And there's a lot of people that see me, they're young and they want to commit suicide and they're depressed and I, and they're, they are ready to go on meds. And I said, wait, just hold off, hold off. Let's just get to the root and see what is causing that depression. And do you know, and I'm not kidding, 85% of the time it comes from the mother. They are picking up their mother's depression, their mother's grief. There are 60 negative emotions, okay? Your subconscious literally knows them in the categories, in order. There's 30 in one column, 30 on another, all taught by Dr. Bradley Nelson. And after I remove those, and the, the, let's say I go to China and I'm doing work on somebody who doesn't even understand English. It doesn't even matter. If I say grief to that person with my pendulum, their subconscious knows grief. Their subconscious knows sadness. I can just say it in English and it doesn't matter. Their subconscious in any feeling. language will be able to help me. Because when you're in the womb, yes. you can't, you don't know how to read Yeah, English. it's a feeling. <laughs> right? There you go. I love that. That's so true. I don't know how to read. <laughs> we should tell that to Dr. Bradley Nelson if he has <laughs> exactly so it's so much fun i love this work because i could just yesterday i worked on a lady um she called me back she was very 
I, I got rid of her migraines uh, three months ago. She used to have major, major blasting headaches. And she said, can you please do one more session on me? New stuff came up. So I didn't tell her if I was going to work on her last night or today. I said, I'll let you know. But I forgot to let her know because she's on a different time zone. And I thought, you know what? She's sleeping anyway. Let me just get this session done. I have more time tonight than tomorrow. And I worked on her. This morning, she got up. Oh, I emailed her her report. I said, I happen to have worked on you last night. She said, OMG. She said, I can't believe that I ended up waking up and you telling me that you worked on me. I slept like a baby through the night. Remember, she didn't know I worked on her. <laughs> I slept like a baby for months. She hasn't. Her ringing ear read, went away and she was, she was very constipated too. Apparently she had no problem in the morning. She said, I just, I can't believe how fast that worked and you didn't even tell me you're working on me. And then I get your report that you did work on me. She said, I feel brand new. It's amazing how fast it works. So mind you, she doesn't even live here remote. I have never met this lady. All I need is their picture on my text. Just text me their picture. I would give free 15 minute sessions to anybody anywhere. How does, and how does somebody get yeah. a hold of you to do that? Why don't you give us your contact? Because I vibe with all this stuff. My wife is a shaman. So I get to deal Ooh, with a lot of this energy. Okay, work. Yes. <laughs> so it's really easy. You just you go on my website. Well, first of all, start with my website. It's natural, healthy haven, healthy with the y.com. So and that is like healthy, like healthy haven, but right. there's natural in, in front of it. Right, Natural exactly. Healthy NaturalHealthyHaven.com. And then my phone number is on there. They can email me um, and I see the email. And what they have to do is just tell me the three top issues that they want to address. And what happens is the subconscious will tell me which is the most dominating because I don't go by what they want. The subconscious goes by what is needed. Right. Usually what they'll say is the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> There's no easy. If they're all equal to me. I just remove them the same way I would all of them they're all just yeah yeah so I just remove you know another cool thing is people are taking a lot of supplements and I found a way that you could detect if you need that supplement or not it's three categories you either need it want it or benefit from it so let's say you have a supplement like vitamin c and your body shows that you need it Need means you definitely have something going on. That means something is hiding in there. You probably have a pathogen in your body or some infection that wants to be fought off. So your body needs it. So you start to take that supplement each day, but then test it because the next day you may not need it. You may be in the want bracket, which is still, you need to take it. I mean, you still have to ingest it, but eventually you want to get out of the want, the need and the benefit to a degree where it's just maintenance and you may not need it at all. So people have to slow down on these supplements and realize they're not gonna be on them forever. They should not be on them forever. Sometimes your body wants to take a break. It has enough it. in it that it's absorbing it and let it be. That whole and that's, topic, that's what I'm noticing. Other, so I posted that in a that, That's a whole other topic we could get into that. That's whole a whole nother ball game. It totally is. Cause I, I don't take anything. I kind of eat what yeah, my body yeah. feels like it should what it wants as opposed to listening to the commercials that say you are suffering from vitamin c deficiency and you should take these do i don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well, well you know I, so not everybody and i don't like <laughs> to do these too long so i like people to be able to you know com to consume all oh, the information so can you share any other thing any little short nuggets for us and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put an intro and outro on this and Beam it up to the universe and let the uh, let the universe. Well, we can work. we can sum it up by again. I offer free fifteen minute sessions to anyone around the world, and, and oh, and that includes your pets. Pets also, if you have a rescue dog, I've seen so many rescue pets. Poor things, they bite off their fur and they're anxious and jittery. And I have calmed them down. They are humans indirectly, like they also have feelings, is what I mean. And sure. I just use my magnet on them. I do use a magnet on myself as a surrogate for you guys. So that's how I do my work. Um, but the best way to understand this is go watch the first show. The first show is in a beautiful PowerPoint presentation on a big screen, and it describes exactly how the emotion code works, the categories I look at, and you guys have to do nothing. All you have to do is text me your picture and what your issues are. Bingo, you go so, to sleep, take a walk. You sometimes work with specific like, niches of people, like people as say, for example, yoga teachers versus dentists versus someone that's a lawyer. You work in specific areas or you just kind of go whatever comes in i work on anybody and anything that breathes 
<laughs> if they breathe and they have an issue, I will work on them. I don't care what their profession is, what they do. It doesn't matter. I don't even need to know their story. If they come and say to me, I've been abused in this and this and this. I'm not one of those therapists that make you relive your story and say, well, what happened to you at 10 years old? And how did you feel? And let's go into the inner child. I respect that, but this work is so quick. I just tap, like your subconscious tells me. I don't I, mess around with it. it it'll I tell resonate. me. I need to relieve grief right now. I need to relieve stress. I resonate with what you're talking about. because the, the Whoop, you the, just spoke up a little bit. What was that? I said, I resonate with what you're talking about. Because, say that again. <laughs> but we'll let, oh. let, the, let the internet go by here. Do some juju to the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying... Ooh. That I get what you're talking about in that the decision when it's made, it can happen a split second. Some people, oh, healing takes time. Not necessarily. You can just make that decision and it's done. Right. You and know I what? say decision I rather than choice. Because decide is like to cut off, you know, to, yeah. to like pesticide, suicide, homicide, to cut off. Oh, wow. And Interesting. You decide rather than choose. Because choose, you can kind of go back. I quit drinking years ago and I decided to quit drinking. So I didn't have to go any AA or anything like that. I just yes. decided and I, done. I love that. That's, that's so beautiful. Yes, that's exactly right. Um, they, here's the thing with this modality. You need to believe it. In, yeah. in my world, they have to believe that it'll work. So yesterday I worked on a lady who wanted her abundance. By the way, I do abundance for people, people that are like feeling they don't have money or they don't, hers, she's loaded with money. That's not even her issue. Do you know what her issue is? They wanna buy a dream home and they had no luck. Every time they see the home, someone buys it or something goes wrong, something always blocked them. So, but that's what abundance is. Abundance doesn't always have to mean financial. It could mean the world universe is working in your favor. So I did her abundance, I brought it to 100. Her next question is, my husband is abundance is low. Can you check it? I said, yeah, it's low. Does he need to also have it done? So I asked the energy and it said, yes, if they're going to buy a house together, both of them should have 100% abundance. Well, guess what? He doesn't believe in this work. So I was stuck. I said, you know what? It's up for grabs. Now. I don't know what's going to happen. You may or may not get your house. You pull in good energy and he's in limbo with this energy mode. So she now has to either convince him or he needs to believe. It's not enough that she bribes him to go get this session done. It's funny. He doesn't even have to do anything. He doesn't even live here. I could, he could be sleeping and I could be doing it, but to him, it's very hokey pokey and it may not work. Mind you, if you go see how many people's abundance I brought up, I had people win lottos, including me and my daughter. We won two lottos at Sprouts, a big supermarket. The lady called us back from that department two times. She said, I just called your number. Um, is this the right number? Because someone else just won in this household. I go, yeah, that would be me. My daughter won the first and I won the second. We won John Master wow. Shampoo, a big basket full of it, and a whole bunch of protein powder shakes. Like, unbelievable. And this is just after we did our abundance. And the other gentleman that I worked on, three wonderful things happened to him, so much so that Dr. Bradley Nelson himself is using that story in his next book. He emailed me last week. He said, can I have your full name? Because this abundance is really working on people. So, you know, it's a, if this guy wants to get it done, he'll have his dream home sooner than not. But again, it's all about believing that this can work. They have and to believe, believe it. it. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to work on him if he doesn't believe it. <laughs> it's like, I'm wasting my time and he's just going to block off the energy that's ready to flow for well, him. Sometimes you know? it, it's going to be a different, you know, framing it in a different perspective. And he might believe it. If you do it with a lot of like moons and stars and pendulums and stuff, he might go, Hey, that's kind of weird. But if you give it to him in a logical way, he might go, that makes some kind of sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and the thing with this is it's not even moons and stars or anything. All it is, is, is you, do you believe you have a subconscious? Yes. Does your subconscious store things like a computer does? Yes. Will you allow me to tap in to see for you what your subconscious is saying to you? It's just a gift. I am literally just gifted. I do not take credit for this. I'm just a vessel picking up energy, going through a pendulum. And keep in mind, the pendulum is not the only way to do this. There's a lot of practitioners out there that do the kinesthesiology. You know, when you put your arm out, a chiropractor uses this a lot. That's how they're tapping into you. It's kinesthesiology. Yeah, they, they, they're taught. I have not mastered kinesthesiology and I'm okay with not having mastered it. And I'll tell you why. When I go into intensive care units in a hospital, people are in a coma. They cannot wake up and stick their arm out for me, for me to jiggle it like this a hundred times. <laughs> you know, that makes sense. 
<laughs> the nurse will booby out faster than I came in. <laughs> so they could be sleeping and I could be working on them. So well, that's how that works. And Aaliyah, <laughs> I'm going to cut this short. Actually, we've gone longer. But <laughs> oh, good. So again, it's, it's naturalhealthyhaven.com. That's I'll it. Yep. Of you. Well, I will put that link in this video and then I'll pop it up there. But I appreciate you taking the time. This was oh, wonderful. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Lots I'm, of information. I love meeting you. Yes, and please send me the link. I would love to post it on my website because I, I have my that. website. We'll add it on to my podcast and people get to know you too. You've got a lot to offer, there. I'm sure. And I, you got your magic sign in the back and we'll make sure people know what you what <laughs> We'll uh, you get it well. up there probably within an hour and I'll get it off to you. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Well, Perfecto. thank you you're so fast okay great thank you peace if you ever come to san diego look me up and rattle your talk to you soon thank you yeah. have a great day <laughs>